Oh, this is so cute. I love it. And I'm really excited about it because I have no reason to build this for myself at my house. Gives you a reason. <laughs> hey guys, we are finally back again building together. It's been Yay. a long time and we're super excited. And today we are going to build a really fun project. My friend asked me if I would build her friend who's having a baby, a bookshelf that also converts into a playhouse so that she can grow with it. And I said, absolutely count me in. That sounds like a lot of fun. And I've designed it to only require five boards. It's super cute. We're gonna head out to my shop and get it built. Let's go. All right. Do we remember how to do this? I don't know. A little, little rusty. Okay, so the first step is to cut the windows out of the side pieces. I have already done that on one piece with the jigsaw, and we're gonna do that on this piece. You don't have to be great at the jigsaw. I didn't do a great job at this because I'm gonna frame out the windows so you won't see the jagged corners. And this, the jagged corners. <laughs> the jagged edges. <laughs> so these are one by 12s and I've already used this as a guide and traced out where we're gonna cut the windows. So I'm gonna do that right now. Awesome. And y'all, if y'all can look at how um, straight her, <laughs> her lines are that she made, that, that might be the problem, not the jigsaw. So the way that I start this, since the windows are in the center of the piece of wood, is I just use, this as I paddled it, I just drill a pilot hole in that, and that way I can get my jigsaw in there. And again, these don't have to be perfect, as exampled by my first piece. I'm trying to get you nice and clamped up, Ashley. She get a clamp. You good. should be good. All right. Pretty solid. <laughs> pocket holes in the shelves. The shelves are also 1x12s. I've already drilled 3 quarter inch pocket holes at both ends. Whitney is going to do the honors of drilling one of the shelves so we can show you guys how cool the new Craig Jig 720 Pro is. Does it matter which side they do? Nope. Okay, so like we always mention guys, one of the things we love about the 720 Pro is that it is self-adjusting. So I don't have to spend my time figuring out what width I'm doing. It does it for me. I've got my drill bit set to three quarters of an inch and I'm putting three three quarter inch pocket holes down this shelf. And then I'll flip it and do the same thing on the other side. All right, okay, so now we're gonna attach them. Pocket holes in the shelf. We've got all the pocket holes drilled. Now we're gonna get our sides that we cut the janky windows out of. And <laughs> These are going, I've already marked where the shelves are going to be placed, so we'll start with one of them. Okay, so right now I'm marking where all of these shelves go. You can find that on our printable plans. We've got it marked for you, and we have linked them in the description box below. So I'm adding a line of wood glue, because I'm a good sister, using the glue box. And we're going to place the first shelf pocket holes down. All these pocket holes are going to be down so we don't see them. And we're using three, uh, one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. One shelf down, three more to go. We're going to do the exact same thing for all of the shelves. Let's add our third shelf. This is going to be so cute. How old is this little girl that's going to Well, be she's unborn right now. Oh. So the idea for this was for her to have a bookshelf. Unborn. Unborn. <laughs> unborn. She's, in, she's in womb. She's in utero. <laughs> so she's having a baby, and she wanted to give her something that she could use for decoration for her room as a nursery with books, but that she could grow with and make it a dollhouse later on. So it's a really cute idea. Okay, this side's done. Now we're gonna add the other side. And what do you think? Do you think we should flip it upside down? I do. I think it's gonna be the easiest way okay. to attach it. I actually just had a drop of sweat coming down my I had one going down the like side a, of my leg. A, like a drop, a drop <laughs> so cool. you know. So 
we've got the whole frame done, now we're going to add the two divider shelves and we're gonna do that with wood glue and nails. Woo! Hey there. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm marking 15 inches on the side of this bookcase using my speed square. Love these, this will just give me a nice straight line on this side and I'm gonna repeat it on this side because it's gonna make it easier to attach knowing that we are nice and straight and then I'll use my speed square again. Cut. I'm adding a line of wood glue above both lines. And we'll nail this side. Okay, all right, so we've got one divider. I'm measuring for the second divider. Okay. So we're gonna do the same exact thing, attach it with one and a quarter inch brad nails. Okay, so at this point, we're gonna stop and we're gonna add a coat of spray paint to all of this so that we can do the trim and the roof. Ashley's going to do the honors because this was her idea. We're gonna be using Rust-Oleum Blossom White in satin, three cans, so get to work, Ash. I'm off to spray paint. We painted the house, we also painted the trim and the baseboards. All of those are drying right now so we can get started on the roof. So the roof is also one by 12. This entire piece is just five one by 12s with some trim pieces. And I've cut 45 degree angles at the top of each roof piece. And these are gonna go together with wood glue and nails and then we might add a couple of screws at the top for, just to keep it really secure. For flare, for flare. So we've got 45 degree angles. They make an L basically. And I'm adding a line of wood glue. Now the reason that I'm spray painting some of the stuff ahead of time before we attach it is because I don't want to tape everything off because I've got some window trim pieces that I'm going to attach so that's why I went ahead and just painted some of the cabinet. Now I'm going to go through and add like three different spec screws just to make sure this is nice and secure. In case this little girl ends up like a mighty like, like my son. So. Okay, good. Yeah, looks really good. So we've got the roof. I'm not gonna attach it right now because I need to spray paint it first. But just to give you an idea of how it's gonna go on. Oh, it's gonna be so, so cute. So cute, I love it. So now we're going to add the window trim. Remember I told you guys I did not do a very good job on the jigsaw. That is okay. Do, 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 do. Here to save the day. So we've made a window trim for the inside and outside of each window and we're just gonna use wood glue and one and a quarter inch brad nails to pop them in place. Keith. Nailed it. That's cute. I'm loving it so far. Thank you, and it's not done yet. I need to finish painting this before I add the rest of the trim. So I'm going to load this up in my car and get it home so that I can finish it up and give it to its owner. Once I got the dollhouse home, I started by attaching the base molding with my brad nailer and wood glue. I followed up by attaching the roof with wood screws. Once the roof was attached, I got busy building the rail I assembled the rail with brad nails and wood glue. I attached it to the top shelf with brad nails and wood glue. And that was it. I love how this turned out. It's so cute. It makes the perfect bookshelf for a nursery, but it'll be great for the baby to play with as she grows. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss another video. Happy building. Hold it! What we're doing now, Ashley's marked it off. I'm assuming that's going to be the top of our bottom shelf. It's going to go down. So I put glue here. Stand by. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Just get glue on I it. I didn't want to get glue on it. Hold on. Oh, that hurt my head. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They go on the other side. I'm sorry. 
Okay. Oh, you, you are so professional. Jeffrey. <laughs> She's so good at it. <laughs>